good to have you guys here four days a week now your students here so we're really excited we're excited there's going to be a few different things in the three wing binder though so we wanted to kind of tell you about that will be super fast video so first thing is the tabs are all the same yellow and red are school tabs so please do not let your students do anything behind the yellow and red tabs. That is their schoolwork that they do in class with us. Orange, blue, and purple are homework tabs. That's where you can look to find their homework. Um, behind, and you really don't need to worry about yellow and red at all, unless they're absent, unless your student is absent because we'll handle that. If your student's absent, try to do the work that is in the binder that they would have done at school. So new thing, well, it's not really new, but updated thing that we have is the homework checkoff. It's updated with what they will now, what they now should be doing every week for homework. And it's gonna, you're gonna find it at the very front of their reading homework tab. So right behind the orange tab, you'll find a new one for every week. So new things that are on here, let's see, we still want them to do their timed reading passages, which is every day for just one minute. Um, we now want them to be reading 20 minutes every day. That can be any, any book and their sight words and their timed reading passages and um, spelling, work. spelling work all count towards that. So however long that takes, we'll count into that 20 minutes. Um, we want them practicing their sight word cards. We have a lot of kids that are getting up there in sight words. We wanna get as many as we can to 100. Um, spelling practice, which we've been doing for the last couple months and they've been doing well with that. Please make sure that they're doing iReady reading and iReady math 45 minutes a week. You can, it, it's not advised to do that all in one session. It's best to break it down maybe into three 15 minute sessions per uh, I ready reading and math um, just because they have short attention spans and then we have we'll have one math sheet one math homework sheet per day that's front and back and new thing we're sending home is a math fluency the math fluency flashcards and some papers that they can practice on this is going to be the um, checkoff list that you're going to get well this week you're only going to get the letter in your binder. Next week, we're gonna start sending home the flashcards and this checkoff sheet. This is just when they've mastered that um, particular math fluency number, I guess. Like plus zero once they've mastered. So, you know, plus you'll have one. a whole sheet of just plus zero and then a whole sheet of plus one. Once they've mastered that, you can let them put a sticker here or color it in or whatever, just so you can keep track of where their mastery lies. Um, and I think that's all. I think that's everything. The yeah, only thing want. that's different is we're giving you two passages now um, for reading. So you would do this on Monday and Tuesday. Have them read it three times Monday, three times Tuesday. And then there's another one. And the reason why we're doing that two times, you know, three times um, Wednesday, three times Thursday, is because they are needing to read by the end of the year 42 words a minute in the passages. So we're kind of stressing the um, passages right now. And that's a little bit different than last time. Last time you just had one passage for the week. So we hope this isn't too overwhelming. Um, it's a lot less than they were doing. Yes. So <laughs> let us know if you summer. have any questions. Yeah, so. for sure. But we're excited that you guys are all coming back. We'll see you Tuesday. Bye. Bye.